Hello, I'm Luxa Kana and today I built a little winter market because recently I've been to a winter market. I visited Cologne and one of the winter markets I just happened to go to and it was really nice. And I thought that, especially because of the pandemic, not everyone will have the opportunity to experience a winter market, especially not since I don't think that that common outside of Europe, I think. At least I've never heard someone talk about a winter market outside of Europe, which I think is quite interesting because to me winter markets are quite common. Like I think every like city that has a marketplace also has like a winter market of some sort. So to me this is one of the most common things, but somehow no one ever talks about them and how awesome they are. Anyways, uh, I was really inspired by visiting that one winter market in Cologne that I was like, okay, I'm going to try to recreate it at least a little. Um, and on this winter market, you could also like go ice skating, stuff like that. And it had like trees on the side and like a lot of Christmas trees. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to copy that. And then I'm going to like put all the little shops next to each other and it's going to look so cute. Yeah, that was my basically my idea for this build and why I wanted to really, really build it. And I, after I came back from that winter market, I was so inspired and I couldn't start I, like I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't wait to start building it in The Sims just because I really, really wanted to. I swear, every time I start recording, my cats decide to have a civil war today. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I was really inspired by that one winter market and I thought, why not make it like a community lot? Because usually when I go like think about ice skating with my Sims, it's like, okay, now I just have to find one of those random ice skating platforms that kind of spawn around the world. And it's like, yeah, wh wh how? why didn't I make an ice skating area ever? It's one of those things that you just don't really think about and then now with this winter market it's like oh yeah stupid of course I can just make a winter market where in winter my sims can go to and you know ice skate and it was like such a revelation to me and I never really thought about it and that's why I think this lot is like really versatile to use for your sims because I did end up making it into um, not a community lot but a lot where your sims can sell and buy stuff, you know, the retail lot from uh, Get to Work, because that way your sims themselves could be like the vendors on this uh, place or they can start actually buying stuff on this place because my first instinct was to maybe just put a lot of those vendors stalls everywhere, but they don't really look that Christmassy or wintry or anything. They are just kind of vibe wise all over the place. So in the end, I decided to just make make you know these vendor stores myself and just decorate them myself and like put everything for sale in there and i think that turned out way way better than anything that i could have made with those stores even if i would have put those stores into the huts i think this is way more cuter and again your sims can actually buy the stuff in there so when i decide to go there they can like buy toys for their kids or buy some nice kitchen utensils buy some nice christmas decorations and all that and i thought that was like a really cool thing for your everyday gameplay because i feel like with seasons we don't really get too much like to do with the seasons it's like yeah here's some weather and now you can have holidays that's it and i feel like stuff like winter's markets and stuff like that they make you really feel like it's you know a lot more christmas like a lot more wintry a lot more christmasy a lot more like yeah, this now actually is the time of snow, the time where people go out and go ice skating, you know. And I really feel like this is something that I kind of want to do for every season now. Have this one space where your sims can just go and, you know, experience everything nice about that season. Because let's be honest, who's actually decorating their Sims' house for every season and every event? Usually I'm like, okay, my Sims get a Christmas tree and, de and a decoration box and that's it. Maybe if they're lucky, they get a Christmas, like the Christmas present box. And sometimes I also give them some Halloween decorations, but that's it. Everything else for the season's not getting decorated. Like who decorates for Love Day? Who of you have ever thought, man, I really want to decorate for Speak Like Pirate Day? And I feel like these kind of lots really help with, you know, giving you that seasonal feel. And I kind of want to do, you know, a little series making all of them because I just 
feel like it's a nice addition to the game and I actually feel like I would come with my sims here often like imagine coming on a date here that would be so cute I actually thought about doing that in my uh, recent gameplay not on camera but like for myself because I started the surviving the holidays thing and like imagine when you have to survive the holidays with your worst enemy and you just decide to you know go on this Christmas fair and then you start ice skating and suddenly your enemy doesn't look that bad anymore like imagine that isn't that like a cool storytelling aspect i really feel like that needs to be utilized more anyways that was like the whole idea behind this build and now let's go into a little bit more of technical details because uh, you can see that i decided to size down those lanterns like that these lanterns that like go across uh, the walkways and stuff like that and that has a reason because when i like kept them up they would like clip through the roofs and everything and it looked really weird and your sims can like still walk under them and everything so I thought this is way better <laughs> it's just really it's just a better vibe and like when you look into the stalls and stuff you can like uh, on the screenshots you see you can like see the lanterns and they look like you know decorations that are included in the little stalls and everything I thought that was really nice also, of course, so your sims won't starve to death, there are two of these uh, bigger stores and they would technically like sell coffee and sell food. So that was the idea behind them. That's why there's a stove in one of them. Um, I don't remember if I put a fridge. I probably didn't. So I really need to remember to put fridges in my build. I don't know why, but I always forget fridges. I think a mini fridge for this build would probably be better anyways. But still, why do I keep forgetting fridges? <laughs> it's just like you don't really think about something like that when you build a kitchen. It's always like, oh, and look at these awesome counters. And now I'm going to put the most pretty stove in here. And then at some point you're like, wait, I need a fridge, you know? <laughs> and that's kind of how I always feel. I also put some like stools over there so your sims can sit and chillax there. And like, I also try to make like a grand entrance. So when you get in there, you can either go to the shopping districts or you can, you know, go to the um, ice skating area. So that was kind of my idea behind that. And yeah, uh, at the beginning, like you see, I started to build in summer because I really wanted to see the ground and everything and where I play stuff. And later I'm going to switch it to a snowstorm so I can actually vibe check everything and see how it looks when you would actually play in it, you know, probably in winter, worst case scenario, if there's a snowstorm. So that's kind of the idea behind all that. And yeah, I'm pretty happy how it turned out in the end. And again, I really want to use it for my gameplay. I think it's just one of those lots that you don't really think you need until you have used it once. And then it's like, yeah, I want more of that. <laughs> It's just like one of these things that you don't immediately think about. And yeah, of course, as usual, you get your four differently colored trash cans because you always get them with me. You know me. And also there's a thermostat above the door in one of those stores. So in case it's getting way too cold for your vendors, you can just pump that thing up to 20 or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, like you see, I put a lot of those decorations out already before I even used them. So I didn't have to scroll to too much through debug and in the end I did decide to put the really big ice skating platform there for a simple reason I wanted to do like the big ice skating platform on top of a giant platform so your sims like go up that platform and then go ice skating on it because that was kind of what they did in Cologne and I thought that looked really really cool so that was kind of my idea for this one Another cool thing that they did in Cologne was that they like built the ice skating platform around a statue and I thought it looked so cool in real life. I just had to recreate it in The Sims. And I think in The Sims it also looks really cool when your Sims like start ice skating around it. Uh, and it kind of now makes sense why, you know, they don't go into the middle area because, you know, that's a giant statue. The only thing that was kind of a bummer was that I had to like put the statue technically on the second uh, floor level and then to let down to make it look like it's standing on the ice because otherwise for some reason um, the thing wouldn't be functional so if you like switch up and down you see the statue disappear but oh well your screenshots will still look awesome <laughs> maybe in your gameplay you just you know have to stay up on the uh, second floor so but anyways if you wouldn't stay up on the second floor you wouldn't have the roofs anyways and everything would look weird so 
I guess it doesn't really matter that much. But just so you know, I had to trick a little trick the game a little bit to make that one happen. Because otherwise it just wouldn't have been a functional place to visit. And my whole entire point was that the Sims would have a place uh, to visit to go ice skating. So yeah. That was that. Um, I don't know how well this lot would like fare in summer. Um, I kind of don't know if it could be renovated to be like viewed as in summer. I kind of wish we had seasonal like uh, seasonal spaces, you know, how we have an eco lifestyle, these community spaces that uh, depending on how you vote, they change. Like imagine that, but changing with the seasons. That's really a lot that I would love to have, like seasonal lots, please. <laughs> I want them so much. Apparently there were a thing in The Sims 3, but like I said, I only played The Sims 3 on Xbox 360 and that was an entirely different game, I'm telling you. But yeah, uh, that's really something that I'd like to have, especially like having now built this lot and having played with this a uh, lot like play tested it it's just like yeah i want that i want that in my game please i don't know if it could be made possible by a mod but then again i feel like this is one of those things that i want in the actual game and not only modded you know it's one of those things that are just too cool not to have and i really wish that like if there was any like big expansion pack that i really would want to have a refresh i think it would actually be seasons because Seasons has not that much stuff when you consider that it's an expansion except for, you know, weather and seasons. It's just holidays, basically. And I really wish we could have just this one edition of lots, you know. It's just, I really wish we could have a seasons refresh. I also wish we had like more items and seasons that are more, you know, seasonal. Like, I barely find anything for Easter in this. It's really weird. Or like, if you try to like really decorate for Christmas, you always use the same five items. And even if you try to uh, decorate for uh, other fests, it's, it's not that much. And I really wish we like had just a little bit more. Maybe it's just that most of these things kind of feel like they're not really that traditional to me because you know Europeans celebrate different than I don't know who and they celebrate different than whatever so I don't know if that's a thing but I kind of feel like it would be cool to have like more um, like worldwide things you know like worldwide special things and it was like it would be it, I'm just saying I would like to have a little bit more seasons in my seasons <laughs> And yeah, uh, now you can see I switched the we weather to the snowstorm and you can see all the winter wonderlandy things that I wanted to have for this one. And you can see me scroll through the debug for quite a while before I decide to uh, what I want to use for the entranceway. Because in Cologne they had like this giant archway that was really pretty where it said like, uh, welcome to the winter wonderland uh, or like the winter fairy tale land, I think would be the more um, worldly translation. But it was really pretty and I thought it was really nice. And uh, I kind of really wanted to recreate that. The only thing was I couldn't really find anything that like had the same vibe as that. You, you see me plays like different things. And in the end, I just decided to do the wedding archway, the new one that we got with um, cottage living because it was just the one that was closest to anything and then I just decorated it with some of the season stuff and yeah that was kind of everything I could do with it to make it look anything like the one I had in Cologne and with anything that had like the same vibe but I still think that it turned out kind of nice I think it's like the kind of sims look you would want to have and like I don't know if you would want to get married on something like this, but I mean, if your sims are really into Christmas, go for it. There's a wedding arch. There's even three wedding arches because there's like three entrances and exits. So if your sims want to have a Christmassy wedding, there you go. I kind of, you know, I kind of think that this type of wedding arch, like with the belts and stuff and with the bows, I think this kind of looks even better now that I think about it because the other like wedding arches kind of already have these kind of things but this one it's basically just a tree and I don't know I kind of feel like the bows make it look even prettier than it already is and I don't know maybe I will keep decorating my trees like that I don't know 
I kind of just used the wedding arch as a decorative object, so I haven't play tested if you can get married under it. But if you can get married under a wedding arch like this, this means we can get custom wedding arches and this opens up like a whole new possibility of things. And I'm like, I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do for love day and like how I could make custom wedding arches and like, like a custom wedding lot this would be so cool like imagine for your sims you just make your own custom wedding arch like imagine how pretty that would be in the screenshots and you don't even have to like make it scc you just have to combine some items i'm really excited for that now i think i'm going to build that one next but yeah um that was my whole entire idea for like the entrance areas and stuff like that and then i just put some more presents around it to give it more of like an entrance kind of vibe so your sims hopefully won't glitch through the trees or something like that and yeah i also thought that hey if you're going here your sims probably need a lot of like places to sit maybe even to sleep so let's put some benches down and then my next thought was okay what do kids do here except for you know figure skate and maybe look at toys because you probably won't have your sims kids buy the toys you know that's something that the adults would do because you know the adults then can present that to the kids so my thought was hey how about i make a little workshop for the kids where they can like draw stuff that they can then you know give their parents to because what is cuter than getting a picture from your kid with love so yeah, that was my idea for this little circle and I thought it was, you know, a, a nice gameplay addition and a really nice feature to have. Also, it really filled up the space well and it just was another, you know, activity and another thing that your sims can do. And that's always good in community lots because when you go to a community lot, you will usually want to go somewhere where you haven't, you, you know, where you have things that you usually don't have at home. And I've been playing a lot with apartments recently and boy oh boy do not have six tuplets in an apartment that's tiny because ex as soon as they turn kids you really have a problem with all the skill building items so having a lot of skill building items for kids in a community lot i think is like a high priority for me now because again do not have six tuplets in an apartment bad idea that's why the, ki the usual game will only have you have triplets but mc command center decided screw you you're getting tr six tuplets now I'm not going to describe like every single shop that I did so you better go to the gallery and download it for yourself and let your sims explore it a little bit and see what kind of wacky cool things your sims are going to find because I did put a lot of stuff in here that your sims could buy and I did set them all for sale. I went in here with Victor Fang and Lily Fang um, because I did build this one in Samai Shuno because I kind of wanted to have like a central lot in the in there and like the district with um, the art where usually the museum is at. That was like the perfect place to place this one because it's basically just in the middle of the city block and so it would be the perfect place for a marketplace. And yeah, so I play tested it with uh, Lily and Victor. You will see them figure skating at the end. And yeah, I also like bought it with them so technically this is now the fangs christmas market <laughs> and i you know set everything for sale uh, and then saved it to the gallery so everything should still be set for sale in this and yeah the price markup i think i put at 50 percent because you usually at christmas markets if you've never been to one um, it's a little bit more pricey for example crepe would be like 550 euros and that's quite expensive if you think about it like it's just a little bit of like nutella and just a little bit of you know crap it's it's really not that much and then you have to pay like 550 for it like i've went to like um what's it called when you when you basically go to disneyland but it's not disneyland um it's something else you know I went to those places and that has been sh cheaper than buying crap on a Christmas market. So yeah, uh, that's something to keep in mind here. Everything will be a little bit more pricey if your sims buy it here. But then again, you get the gameplay of, you know, buying it there. And I think that's kind of fun too. And yeah, um, what else can I say about this except for if you really want to play, it's on the gallery, you can download it. It uses quite a few packs. I tried not to use every single pack I have, but I kind of just wanted it to be pretty and wanted it to have a vibe and everything. And it was like, yeah, I know I shouldn't use every single pack, but then again, look at it. It makes it so much better. 
I think for like pack wise you would definitely need seasons of course and then I think the wallpaper I used on the sharks are actually from Island Living so that's probably an important one and I think I did use quite a few items from Cottage Living uh, the rest I don't really know I think I used some items from get together and I did use some items from snowy escape because again snowy escape snow it makes sense to use stuff from there and the rest I don't really know of course if you would like to have uh, this to be able for your sims to buy stuff there uh, you have to have get to work so yeah you do have to have quite a few packs when you want to download this one and yeah I think it's worth it because it's just so it's so nice and I really want to use it for my gameplay more. Speaking of gameplay, I'm really considering uh, like recording again for my Legacy Let's Play because I really miss Jackie and I really miss Kaios. Although I know that he's going to die soon because he's an elder. But then again, I kind of want to, you know, walk the journey with him and, you know, walk, walk the last few steps with him too, you know. I kind of really want to do the whole scenario thing with Jackie because I really feel like that would be a cool addition to the Legacy Let's Play that like every generation has to complete one of those scenarios. The only thing that really bothers me is that we still cannot start scenarios in existing households. And that's basically the only thing that's really stopping me right now from uh, recording because I don't want Jackie to forget her parents or forget her friends you know because that would be the only option if I would like save Jackie separately to my own gallery and then like basically create a new household with a new Jackie like with a new copy of Jackie and I don't want that I want to like keep playing with my existing household but play a scenario with them and th yeah we, we can't do that at the moment of recording this. It's For me, it's the 22nd of uh, December 2021. And scenarios have just come out basically. And yeah, now you can enjoy some screenshots of the lot. Like I said, Lily and Victor Fang, they did the figure skating. It is functional, don't worry. And yeah, I did price everything. So your Sims can basically buy anything. <laughs> I think I didn't forget anything I hope I didn't price like the Christmas trees and stuff like that because you wouldn't buy a Christmas tree on a winter fair I think a Christmas tree you would probably buy at your local flower shop or like um, at your like wherever you can usually buy flowers you usually buy your Christmas tree sometimes there's like supermarkets that sell Christmas tree here in Europe or Germany more specifically but other than that I don't really know where you would why you would get a Christmas tree from like a winter fair especially since usually at winter fairs you can't really go parking like near it so you would have to like get that tree and like get it to your car somehow that's like three blocks away so don't buy Christmas trees on winter fairs <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you like my idea of a winter fair and this is <coughs> I'm sorry I had to sneeze I'm so sorry. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it all. Uh, I hope you uh, can find it on the gallery. I'm going to call it Winter Market if you want to search for it. My gallery ID is Luxakana. You will see how it's written at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in whichever video, stream or whatever you will watch next. Bye!